All right, everybody. Well, we got something that came in today, an insulin pump. Um, a customer that really can't be without this very long. As you see, the screen is cracked. And it is their T-Slim X2. And we're going to do a video on how to repair the screen. So let's get to it. All right, tools you're going to need for the job for doing this. On your T-Slim X250, you're going to need a screen for replacement. You're going to need some razor blades, plastic pry tool, and a pair of tweezers on there. And you saw... Yeah. All right, so guys, so uh, we got to get our screen warmed up on our hot plate right here. Can you guys check out, zoom in on there on the temperature? And we're going to preheat our unit there. And on top of that, um, we have our new screen to go on there. It took us three weeks to get this. It has this cables right here. So you gotta be careful when you remove it not to clip these cables on there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove that screen off of there and we're gonna put adhesive a new one on there. All right, so we're gonna All start right. pulling this out. And this one's already so broken that we can actually get in there. Normally you would chip around the edges on there, but that's just gonna be able to pull this whole screen out of here. This is the white layers of the diffusers in there. <laughs> You see there's the wires here. So what I did is I opened it from the bottom. So that way I have our ribbon cables there. We aren't damaging them. And I can disconnect them before I pull it out. And get that one. And I'm gonna take my tweezers. Carefully pull that out. And there we go. And we got our two pieces off. So now we can pull the screen off in one piece right here, okay? Okay, right, so the to tools you're gonna need is you're gonna need a hot plate over there like we have. And you're going to need a razor blade in your unit. So we've already removed this off carefully. All we got to do is we got to get the glass around the outer edges here. So you might need a couple of these razor blades. I'll stick it in the crevice in the edge there. It's very difficult to remove, even heat it up. off we disconnected the battery as well now that your surface has all been cleaned all the way around what you're going to do is you're going to use a little bit of your 99 percent alcohol and only 99 percent alcohol and you're going to clean around the edges with your with your rag around the edges around there okay to prep it this is a special adhesive is optical adhesive to do metal and glass together so once you've put it back in you're going to put the seal all the way around the outer edges before you put it down okay so now we're going to do is we're actually going to put our ribbons back in and do a test on it first all right so you're gonna use your B7000. We're gonna put our adhesive right in the groove. Once we get it on that lip, we're gonna hold it down like that. And there you guys go, you can see it's working. So now we do is we gotta wait for it to finish bonding. So, all right, there you guys go. Oops. 